All right, and we're back for a boss fight. Now, we've got to make sure that people are in decent positions, um, which, let's face it, they're kind of not. Um, I'm particularly worried about this spectre. I think the spectre is going to get wailed on, um, because it's now within reach of... Well, two units can attack it, um, and the mechanical goliath in particular, I think, is quite likely to go in there and try and take it out. So, um, I'm gonna, what I would like to do, can't quite do it, um, that would be to move this shide somewhere where, where it can heal the spectre, but actually the spectre's next to Anlinde, so if Anlinde dies, um, well, if, if the spectre dies, then the spectre's dead. If the uh, if Anlinde dies, then Anlinde is dead, and I lose the game. And what, what currently is possible um, is for at least one of these to come round, and I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is move in a little bit closer. with most of these units. I'm going to put my shide here and we will see what damage is dealt. Yeah, this is bad. So, what have we got? Um, one mechanical automaton down here in the bottom right. Uh, that one is not in range of anyone yet. We've got the boss up here, two enemies. We've got Malkashar in the in the mushrooms, um, and he's got he's uh, he's got a an automaton on him. And we've got down here the main bulk. Um, we've got the mechanical Goliath and his friends, so we need to take some fairly swift action just in order to, I think the first order of business, um, counterintuitive though it may be, is actually to try and wipe out the automata. Um, mainly because if we do that, then we're basically a lot safer from everyone else. Um, from the, the big boss, I mean, he on his own, uh, he can be controlled. So I'm going to try and take out the automata. Alright, so Kashar manages to get his. Galas manages to get his. Four left, plus the boss man. This spectre is, is looking beat up as hell. It is slowed. Um, the Enchantress is the weakest unit here, so I should use the Enchantress in a position where it won't have to tank any damage. going to put it here. Okay. Now, can this spectre then come round? I'm hoping. Uh, no, I'd have to be lucky. The spectre to come round and, and finish the job. Still, I'm going to try it, because I think it would be worth it. If I put the spectre there, then the spectre then ought to be, I hope, safe. Um, if I just put someone else in the way. Yes, good, alright. So now, we've got three more automata. We've got the boss, um, and we've got Anlinde. Anlinde is currently... Yeah. So I'm going to try and use the Prowler to slow the Goliath. He gets battered. Um, that is unfortunate. Um, and then I can. 
got to play now. And Linda really has to stay where she is. Um, if she doesn't, uh, she's going to get a bit whacked as well. Um, but Goliath is slowed, so it doesn't do nearly as much damage. Uh, which means that I'm going to go at it with the Gossamer. Well, where am I? I could, I could come down here, have the Shide go there. Um, yeah, alright, I'm going to try that. This Automaton is very, very uh, easy to hit, at least. So if I get all four hits, it's dead. Yep, that's good. Alright, um, now the Shite can move here um, and use its magical attack. Alright, good. So, the Shite has the... the, um, the Goliath has the option of attacking the Prowler, the Shide, or Anglinde. Um, none of whom will be killed. Well, none of whom should be killed if it attacks them. What I am worried about is this. Um, so we've got this... Uh, these automata are within range. So this Lich is going to come down here and is going to zap this one. Oh, there's another automaton. So that wasn't super effective, but uh, now both of these automata are blocked off from the main battle that's taking place up here. Um, if I run in an attack here with this Bane Blade, uh, sorry, I keep calling them that, this Spectre, um, I can deal 24 damage. I could take 12, that would take me down to 21, and uh, then it can't then kill me in the next turn. Um, so again, I'm actually feeling safe to do that. And then if you go next to Anne Linda, you'll get healed. <laughs> It is frustrating that this guy's melee attacks actually slow you. I guess the idea is just, he's just kind of concussing you with his massive fists. <clears throat> okay, a lot of health left, but it's slowed. Okay, Malkesha, you can't reach the main combat. Um, I need to slow you again. And if this does not succeed with you, then you die. So, and Lindy, um, you do it instead. Okay, and Linda gets hit by the nasty, nasty cannon. Um, Malkashar can't get into the body of the fight, so he's going to come down here and help out Galas. In fact, Galas is going to come round and attack this one. Alright, and then Malkashar can sit in the mushrooms. There is another automaton there, but it's in the corner, not able to get into the battle. Neither is this one. Alright, so I think unless someone goes to the south here, um, and that actually might not be such a bad plan, um, we should be safe. But let's see what damage everyone else can do. So the Goliath is slowed, uh, the Prowler really ought to get out of there. Sothinia is going to once again just try and zap the Goliath. Okay, not brilliant. Um, Prowler, you go back. Sorceress, you come in. I can't kill it, I don't think. Well, maybe. Hmm, let's see. So he could do 20, 24 damage um, to the Lich, uh, plus 13, that is 37, taking down to 30 health. Um, yeah, it's not going to die, um, even if it gets attacked down here by this automaton as well. Okay. Now once again, 
the spectre is uh, tough enough. To withstand, um, the Goliath is on very low health, but I cannot kill it. So you're going to stay there, and you're going to stay there. Okay. So as predicted, my Lich got pretty badly beaten up. Um, Malkashar still is not fast enough to get into the fight. The Mechanical Goliath is looking extremely badly injured. And I can basically almost choose at this point who I want to get the kill. But first, Sophinia... Um, well, Sophinia might get the kill if she does this. That's uh, what I should do. I, yeah. But no one is guaranteed to not kill it. Maybe this Lich, if it uses its touch attack. Um, but then, then I, I could die. <laughs> so, won't do that. Um, instead... You... Come and try and kill this automaton. And then... It's quite tempting to give this experience to Galas. Um... The Enchantress does need experience, so does the Prowler. I think at this point the tactically wisest choice would be to allow Galas to try and get the Automaton. Oh, this music is so loud and dramatic that it's uh, somewhat OTT. Alright, so now the Prowler can try and might, might miss, might fail. Um, so let's do that. Yeah, so the Prowler fails. Prowler doesn't get the experience. Um, so Thinia the Shide could do with the experience. Another three hit points on her would, uh, would be very nice indeed. Um, and she's a lot closer to it than, uh, than the Enchantress is. So, yes, um, as the old National Lottery ads used to say, it's you. Well, it would be you if you actually hit with one of your 70% chance to hit attacks. Um, I guess it's the Sorceress then. There we go. At last, it's over. That was a close call. But who knows how many other metallic giants might have been brought to this place by the enemy. Let us leave this chamber and continue exploring, but be on your keenest guard. Onwards we go, then. Alright, so that's a win. Um, 70 bonus gold. Nice. Um, and I didn't lose anyone, I don't think. Um, let's check the status table. The statistics, rather. Loss is zero. Alright, well that makes a nice change. And um, got a, nice, a few good levels there as well. So, well done to all of my troops. Well done to all of you listeners for paying such perfect attention. And I shall see you all in the next part.